Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are trying Ensley Rain Cosmetics for the first time, specifically the Midwinter Dream Palette, which is a collab with Brittany Huffman. This is not a cheap palette by any means and it's from an indie brand I've never tried. So if you'd like to see me create this look and hear my thoughts, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, if you haven't already, I hope you will consider subscribing. I upload videos twice a week. It's totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you back again on the channel. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this really fun eyeshadow look. All right, so here is the palette. If you haven't seen it, it is again called the Midwinter Dream Palette. And this is the first time I'm ever trying Ensley Rain Cosmetics. And I'm not familiar really with the collaborator, Brittany Huffman, either. I truly just thought this looked lovely. That's why I bought it. Not because I know the brand or anything or the creator, like I said. But here is the palette. I really liked the matte selection, how it had some, like, springy options over here, but more, like, winter and depth to it as well. And these shimmers look amazing. Um, it was a bit of a risk for the price. I'm not gonna lie, like this looks already amazing. I hope it performs because of the price. Like, I don't even wanna tell you how much it was. It was $88. I know, so <laughs> I'm being selective with my purchases right now. Those of you that have been watching know I'm on a bit of a low buy right now. So this was one that I went ahead and bought and I actually bought it a while ago. It was on like an eight to 10 week pre-order. So I've been highly anticipating this. I'm actually already, I'm already wearing the palette on my face. I took Winterberry and Rebirth, this kind of orangey in the pinky one. And I took my Luxie 504 um, large angled brush and I like mixed in both of those. And that's what I'm wearing for blush today is those matte shades. Cause I really wanted a blush that would match the palette and I was like you know what instead of trying to find something that matches I'm literally just gonna use matte so that's what I did I've got the blush on and I'm gonna start with my Ace Butte P1 brush and I'm gonna go into Winterberry with it and go ahead and put that in the crease as well I did already put down eyeshadow primer I use eyeshadow primer with every single eyeshadow I use just to prevent creasing and to make the pigment pop a little bit more so it's nothing special I'm doing for this one. Right now I'm using the Love Craft Beauty eyeshadow primer. That's just what I happen to have on hand and I, I like it. It's a good one. I'm also gonna take a little bit, not very much of that Rebirth and just put it out here in the crease. Just again, because those are the two shades that I used for blush. And so I want them to be somewhere in the eye look, you know, just to tie it all together. I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit so you can see the eyes even better. Okay, now we're a little more up close and personal. And what are we gonna do, you guys? There's there's so many options. I mean, look how big this palette is. It really is large. Ugh, I'm, I'm getting ready to go to a hockey game, by the way. So my hair is pulled back and it's just, you know, a casual sporting event. So yeah, I don't know what I wanna do. I think... I'm gonna take my P2 brush from Ace Butte and go with Scotty. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this kind of like cool toned purpley shade. I'm gonna pack some of that into the outer portion of the eye here. These mattes are really smooth and nice so far, you guys. And it did work really well on the Chica's blush too. You know, sometimes Maybe you don't know. If you've tried to use eyeshadows blush before, sometimes they're so pigmented that it will like stick to your skin in one spot and it won't blend out. And it's almost like too pigmented to use as blush and can only be used as eyeshadow. That was not the case with these. They were really nice and buildable. Um, and it seems like so far, that's how they're working on the, the eyes and the face both, which I'd rather have a shadow that builds personally than one that is too, like for me too pigmented and I have to go back and do like damage duty to try to repair and fix and be like oh my gosh that was too much now what I'm just going back with the first brush and blending the edges I'm not doing any additional product there oh I am really tempted to use local what is it local frost this green one 
I just don't know if it's really gonna go with my vibes today though, you know? Oh, uh, okay, I'm not gonna do that. I know what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna take a Morphe M124 and I'm gonna go in with Frigid right here, which is kind of like scatty, what I just did, but like deeper. It's the same kind of cool toned purple-ish shade. And I'm just gonna put that along the lash line here and take it across. Start to lift the eye a bit. Whatever we can do to make ourselves look just a little more youthful. That's what I'm gonna do. So excited to be playing with something new. I haven't gotten a new thing in a while. I think the last new video I filmed on my channel was Maybe the Adept Inspired palette, which I really need to dig into that one again, even though it's not um, available for purchase anymore. But I have been enjoying um, trying like new to me stuff, not like new releases, but um, I recently filmed, I'll leave it linked if you haven't seen it yet, palettes that I bought but never used. So that's still kind of like, you know, playing with something new is fun and I've been enjoying that. But I'm not gonna lie, it's nice to have something that's like actually a new release just came out, like all the cool kids are talking about it, that sort of thing. But I am going to film a part two to that video about palettes I purchased and never used. You guys seem to like it, I definitely have more to share. Um, and I've filmed a couple videos now with requests um, to film with those older palettes and there might be something else in my stash that maybe you want to see something with so Stay tuned for that. I think I'm kind of happy with the shape now. It doesn't have to be super precise I'm Just again trying to get that like lifted shape going So this looks like there's multiple different textures of shimmers in this. I don't know if you can see or not but like the texture of let's say this gold one for example is very different than this pink next to it this looks like it's going to be smoother this looks like it's going to be more of like those putty type shades i don't know this formula well enough to know if it needs a glitter primer or not so i think i'm going to do a thin layer of glitter primer on the eye just to be certain in case it needs something to adhere to and hopefully it won't crease there are some brand shimmers I have realized, like Adept Cosmetics, that um, I, on me at least, they actually crease worse if I use a glitter primer. Like, there's, they're almost too emollient and they'll crease, but I don't know how this brand's going to be, so we're just going to have to trial and error it a little bit here, and even if you do crease, you know, you can take, like, your finger and kind of fix it a little bit, fix up if you need to. So I'll leave a note in the description or like insert a little subtitle or something here to let you know how it wore throughout the night. Cause I'm, like I said, I'm going to a hockey game. It doesn't start till later this night. It's gonna, it's gonna be a while. Um, and I'll let you know how it went, but shimmers. Oh, and these are shifty. So it's like, what do I want to do? What do I want to do, you guys? I wish I could live pull you. I really do. Okay, so we've got some like purpley, pinky, cool tone vibes going on on the eyes right now. We've got some purpley, blue, pinky, blue, gold. One of these iridescents is absolutely going in the corner of my eye. You better believe that. Oh, my battery's about to die. Please hold, I gotta plug in this camera or else, you know, this is all gonna be for nothing. All right, let's get on with these shimmers already, shall we? I kinda wanna do two, like a deeper one and then a, a lighter one, maybe. Ugh, it's so hard to pick, you guys. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're gonna go in with Marzana, which is this one. It's more textured and it's pink and blue. And it is definitely putty-like. I can tell right away putting the brush in here. Which I love this kind of shimmer, so that makes me happy. But I also want to know, why does this palette cost so much? Maybe just because of the number of shades, you think? Because there are other brands. That's pretty. <laughs> there are other brands that do those kind of putty shades that it doesn't cost this price. 
However, they aren't this big, I'm thinking, like other palettes that I've gotten that have this type of formula in it. So it might just be the quantity of shades you're getting that's causing it to cost so much. This is a gorgeous, like you could build this up to being opaque, but it's gorgeous as a topper, I feel like. And I did put a little bit of that matte underneath it, but I'm going to build it up a bit more. It's coming off pretty blue with like a somewhat translucent kind of pinkish base underneath. Oh, if they're all going to be like this, no regrets, no regrets. <laughs> Cause this is stunning. Oh, I, ho I hope the camera is doing it justice, but probably not to be honest, probably not. It usually doesn't with the most beautiful shadows unfortunately oh that's pretty <laughs> that's really pretty okay and then I think we're gonna try one of the more like smoother looking shimmers on the inside and we're gonna do Boreas next to it see now you can see the difference I think now that I dug into a bit but we're gonna go into the like smoother one next to it yeah and this is not putty feeling it feels more like what you'd expect a normal shimmer consistency to feel like and it's also blue on the eyes. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're doing purple and blue. Um, I thought this was gonna look a lot more pink than it does. I mean, that's fine. I'm not mad at it, but it's definitely not what I was expecting. Thank you very much. And we're just gonna blend a little bit, put it in the crease, doing kind of like a faux little cut here. Well, that's pretty, okay. So I feel like with all this blue, we kind of have to do the blue in the inner corner, right? Just to be matchy-matchy. I mean, I don't have to, but I don't really want green going with this in the corner. So I'm going to use NYX, which they probably just look white too, but they're very iridescent looking, dendrite and mix. One is a green iridescent and one is blue iridescent. So I'm going in with the blue, and this also feels very... It's not quite putty-like, but it's also not a pressed flaky. It's somewhere in between, I would say. And this is a Refer 3 brush. And that iridescent color makes for an amazing inner corner. I'm going to kind of run it and blend it into the look too, just to be cohesive. I'm going to wrap around the bottom slightly. That is pretty. So you could obviously leave it just plain, but I like that little pop in the corner there. It's so pretty, you guys. I, I can't. I'm going to have to play with this palette a lot more. I'm very excited about these shimmers. But the mattes were really good, too, honestly. They're, they both perform really well. All right. New, new hot brand alert, y'all. I'm going to take this little M124 again, and I'm going to take Scotty, Skatey, I don't know, that matte and put it a little bit on the lower lash line as well, just to kind of make it a little cohesive here. And that's like the lighter of the two cool tone purples that I used. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, you guys. Um, I'm going to take my Storybook Cosmetics brush here. And, you know, I could use the black with sparkles. It's got black with green sparkles, which I've never seen before. Very cool. But I think I'm actually going to take Cypress, this deep green, and use that to go right up against the lash line and really make it dark. I always love doing this in looks, but I love it even more when I can do it with a deep matte that is not just brown or black. I don't know why, but it really, to me, adds something to the look. And see, this is where laying down that first color earlier, um, Frigid, like just starting to create that shape really helps me because I have an outline that I can just define and diffuse on and it's not feeling so like free-handed to me and I can really perfect the shape that I started earlier. I'm like tapping the mats and there's really not a lot of fallout either in these, which is great. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm really excited to play with this again and do some of the like deeper, sorry, be in frame, and do some of the deeper shimmers too. What a wonderful palette. What a wonderful palette, you guys. Um, I think I purchased this on the second pre-order, but I know on their Instagram 
um, they're discussing doing a third pre-order, which I really hope they do because this is so pretty. <laughs> this is so pretty. This, this might be my favorite palette I've tried so far, like new in this year. It might be. Ooh, it's, it's really far up there if it's not number one, but it might be number one, you guys. All right, I'm going to curl my lashes. Um, what else? Mascara, setting spray, whatever. And then they also sent me a lip gloss, you guys, which I didn't order. So I don't know if they always put in products extra like that, if they were trying to get rid of them. Maybe because the palette was so expensive, you know, it was like free gift with purchase. It didn't really say on a note. And this is my first time ordering, like I said, from the brand. So I'm not really sure what like normal practice is for them. But they sent me this gloss. So of course we're going to try out the gloss from the brand just to see, you know, is it as good as the eyeshadow? Because holy smokes, the eyeshadow is knocking my socks off. All right, so I just threw on some lip liner from Melt and Foxy. And let's check out this gloss. So it comes in this little sealed packaging, which is kind of hard to open. Oh, okay, so it says right here on the back. I didn't even notice. It says free gift on there. So again, I don't know if it's because of the price that it's a free gift or how that works, but this is the Rain or Shine CBD Color Compatible Lip Gloss by Ensley Rain Cosmetics. It has 10 milligrams of CBD apparently in it. You get 0.21 fluid ounces and glamorous, I think is the shade. Oh good, there's a seal on it. Always makes me feel good when I see stuff like that. Smells really good. It's got that kind of classic like vanilla cupcakey scent that a lot of glosses have. Doe foot applicator. Ooh, it's a really pretty like coppery color, which I love. It's actually gonna be perfect with this lip liner. This is great. This is actually a color I would have picked for myself. Not sticky or gloopy whatsoever, you guys, which makes me so happy. There's nothing worse than a stringy gloss when you separate your lips and it's like ugh, stringy. Ugh, gross. Let's zoom out and chat. All right, guys. So here we are repping, like I said, Toledo Wale going to a hockey game. But here's the final look. It's really nice. Like it's kind of colorful but not like too crazy out there, I don't feel like. What do you guys think? Would you wear this look? Would you pay this price point for this palette? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm blown away, I'm blown away. The gloss is great, the shadows are great. I I wanna know more. I'm, I'm gonna be stalking this brand on Instagram now and yeah, keeping an eye on them because amazing love it so much cannot say enough good things like i said i'll let you know in the description kind of how it wore and like if there's an increasing or that kind of situation but i'm thrilled you guys that's all i have to say i'm thrilled so thanks so much if you made it all the way to the end of the video and i hope to see you again in the next one bye